Hello people, it is Fox, and welcome to a fairly brief Commander deck video. I just wanted to show off the edits and additions I made to one of my favorite decks, niv at the Firemine, a deck that I rarely get to play because it is a competitive Commander deck, so I guess there's your... There's your little uh, before the video warning that this is a competitive commander deck tech. So if you don't like that kind of thing, you know, don't watch, I guess, Kevin Smith. Competitive commander, excuse me, is a little bit of a gray area. People tend to either like it, hate it, or really, really hate it. Uh, commander is usually a casual format, so I can kind of see why the competitive angle can get a little, you know, not liked. However... That's how I grew up learning Commander was in a competitive scene, and Niv-Mazet has always been a deck that I've stuck with. It is probably one of my only real combo Commander decks, one that usually focuses towards only one combo. I enjoy playing it anytime I can play it, and I wanted to show off just a slight couple cards that I added here and there to make it very, very, uh... efficient, essentially. Alrighty, so let's start with the lands, because those are boring. Three Mountains. And I believe eight islands, six, seven, eight, yep, eight islands. One of them is not a foil bucket land. I think this one, yep, this is not a foil. I hate it. You go over here. Uh, Steam Vents, Temple of Epiphany, Sulphur Falls, Cascade Bluff, Scalding Tarns, Spire Bluff Canal, and Shivan Reef. No, I don't have a uh, the volcanic island yet, okay? I'm not completely made of money, he says as he shows off a signs Steam Vents. Gemstone Caverns is an interesting card. It lets you play a land even if it's not your turn. So it helps you essentially start to ramp up to Niv combo. So you get a little bit of an edge in there. Talaria West to get some of the more utility lands. Uh, to get some of the utility lands. I can speak correctly. Also get Pact of Negation if I need it or uh, a Mana Rock. Reliquary Tower because you're going to have a huge hand size. Maze of Ith, uh, you get hated really quickly in games with Niv. Uh, usually the minute you start, so you kind of need something to take the edge a little bit away from you so you don't get hit with huge commanders. Mana Confluence, I hate pain lands, but it is what it is. Citadel of the Excavations, I call this Snapcaster Mage Mana, because it taps for one in blue. Get it? Minimo School at Water's Edge, untap your commander so you can facilitate a combo. Command Tower, Ancient Tomb for more mana ramp. Reptile Laboratory, Cavern Soul so your wizards don't get countered. Unclaimed Territory, because I'm running quite a bit of Wizards, and Niv is a Wizard, so, you know, you call Wizards. Hold the Band Lord, Niv needs haste. Um, not all the time, but there are times when he really needs haste, so that 3 life doesn't really matter. Temple of the False God for more mana. Academy Ruins to get back, um, what's the card? Lotus Petal. I added Lotus Petal in here, so Academy Ruins is a really good combo with that. Reflecting Pool, so, you know, you get black and, not black and blue, you get red and blue mana. Not too many creatures. I'm running mostly useful creatures. Archomancer, Trinket Mage, excuse me, Burpee. Consecrated Sphinx in French, so it's extra rude. Uh, Phyrex Phyrexian Crawler, Psychosis Crawler, Venser Shaper Savant, essentially a counter spell that's not really a counter spell. Snapcaster Mage, because, you know, I have to. Phyrexian Metamorph to copy. Usually my artifacts that are uh, multi tappers, so. Uh, Tandem Lookout to facilitate the combo. He is essentially one of the cards that combos off with Niv. So you draw a card. Ping somebody, then when you ping somebody, you draw a card, infinite combo, get time reversal, win the game, hopefully. I took out uh, Laboratory Maniac. I forgot the name for a second. I took out Lab Maniac because it was fine, but usually it's not helping you. Um, I have played it a couple times. I won one time with it, but it does usually get killed off quick or countered, just straight up countered or... You know, they don't let it get off. They, they'll they they'll stifle that combo before you really get to do anything. So, Planeswalkers, got myself a Jason Mind Sculptor. Uh, Tezzeret the Seeker to untap some artifacts and search for artifacts because you can zero him and search for your zero artifacts. Yay! And then a sign deck fade that my friend Pete gave me. Good card. Helps, uh, again, to facilitate Niv combo. Anything that lets you draw a card that stays on the field is always good. You don't need haste on Planeswalker, so you can essentially play him down while you have Niv and something on him. Either Curiosity, Affidia and I, or Tandem Lookout, and then you get to combo off and have some fun. For instance, the Sorcery, starting off with Sorcery, we got Ponder. Gamble, which is, uh, I like to call a Pokemon magic card because Gamble really is a Pokemon magic card. Essentially, search for a card, then flip a coin. You know, it, it's a gamble. Time rever uh, time spiral, excuse me. Did I say time reversal before? I meant time spiral. So, you could draw your entire deck and still not have enough, like, uh, cards to kill somebody. So, time spiral helps to reshuffle your grave, reshuffle your hand, and then you can kill someone. 
Blasphemous Act, not a lot of Wraths in red and blue, so got to run one. Wheel of Fortune, because you know, draw. Serum Visions, Ancestral Visions, Preordain, Merchant Scroll to get some cool instant stuff out. Time Warp, uh, Turnabout, which is uh, probably one of my favorite cards. This has helped me win many times. Usually I'm targeting my artifacts because I have a lot of artifacts to tap for a ton. Ender for some Counterspell. Intuition, you know, to get your combos up. Drapanic Reversal is a newer card I added, and I love it. Untap all non-land permanents you control. Again, it helps to facilitate Niv. It untaps Niv. It untaps your artifacts. It untaps your Planeswalkers if, you know, you're playing against a really funny Derevi deck. Impulse, Trick Bind, Capsize, Blue Sun Zenith for Mass Draw. Psych Rift, because, you know, I'm blue. Spell Crumple, Dig Through Time. Counterspell, Fancy Foil, Push the Wave Away Counterspell. Force of Will for countering. Talarian Winds, which is essentially a wheel. Mystical Tutor, uh, Frantic Search, Pact the Negation, Chaos Warp. I will sometimes Chaos Warp my own stuff. Actually, I've done that way more than on other people. I, I prefer to Chaos Warp my own stuff just to play, like, deck roulette, just to see what happens. Cryptic Command, uh, Counterflux, Brainstorm. Yes, it's Minecraft. I altered it a very long time ago when I liked Minecraft. Shut up. And Swan Song. Let's go on Artifacts, because that's where I've added quite a bit. So, Chromatic Lantern, Commander Sphere, Temple Bell. Helps to facilitate Niv Combo, yada, yada, yada. Soul Ring, Mana Crypt is a new addition. Uh, it's Mana Crypt. It taps for two. It costs nothing. You can get it out with Tezzeret for free. Uh, Scroll Rack, one of my favorite artifacts of all time. It helps you cycle your hand. The downside is it does not count as a draw, so it doesn't combo with Niv. But on the upside, you're cycling your hand, so it's good. Uh, Mana Vault, Chrome Mox, another zero drop. Lotus Petal, which I just added, and it did quite a, a good job at, uh, in the SCG Con. It helped me essentially combo because I had Talaria. Uh, what's the name of it? I forgot the name of it. You know which one I mean. The one that puts it back. Academy Ruins, not even Talaria. Academy Ruins. Uh, put it back on top so I can keep doing it. Is that Signet? Greaves. Gilded Lotus. Sensei's Dreidel. Mindstone. Paradox Engine also is a new card. Again, the untapped permanence you don't control. Uh, untapped permanence you control effect has proven to me to be a very effective play strategy. Untapping Niv is always a good idea. So I'm running a couple more of those kind of effects. Coalition Relic. And Mirage Mirror mostly is for fun. Um, I'm usually targeting my own stuff to, like, let it become... Or you know what I can do? Um, in response to someone destroying Niv, I can target Niv. So if somebody, like, uh, terminates Niv, I can have this become niv Mazette and sack the niv Mazette they're targeting in response to make their spell fizzle. So Mirage Mirror has its place. It's a very good card. Finally! Finally! The enchantments. The uh, combo pieces. So we got Curiosity... We got, I'll show you just the combo pieces. Aphidia and I, love that art by the way. And Mind Over Matter, again, that's what combos with the Niv, that's what helps you win. And then uh, Omniscience or Omniscience as all me and my friends call it. And uh, Ristic Study, because this card is always good, it's always fun, and always gets destroyed really quickly. Until Unless it doesn't, in which case, you know, your hand is just full of cards that they let you draw. And that was my Niv Mazette, is that... Niv Mizzle, the Fizzle Mizzle deck. One of my favorite decks, a deck that I've had for a very, very long time and I probably will never get rid of. I just love it too much. And I hope you guys enjoyed that little video, the little deck tech. Uh, if you have any questions, suggestions, whatever, uh, go ahead and leave them in the comments and I will answer them or take it into account. Go ahead and enjoy Kevin Smith's beautiful face and Jason Mew's visage.